Good morning, folks. We've got a quick look at space weather. Activity is increasing and we'll have things to watch over the coming week. We'll take a quick peek at the Global Climate Report as well. We'll see an excellent new paper on the magnetic field impact on the smallest members of the food chain. Our flight didn't land until midnight, but we're kicking ahead anyway, starting with our star, where the primary focus is on the south incoming. Dark coronal hole there, bright active regions behind it. The coronal hole will impact Earth with enhanced solar wind Wednesday or Thursday, and meanwhile the sunspots behind it have already released a couple solar flares that are pushing up the X-ray flux chart. You can see here how that area is the most active one on the sun at the moment, and that's likely to be the case over the coming days. We do still have incoming sunspots on the north and several plasma filaments to watch, but thus far the activity has yet to put any meaningful CMEs out in Earth's direction. Solar wind and geomagnetism are quiet as well. Let's take a quick look at that sunspot situation. Smaller groupings incoming on the north, more numerous ones on the south, but a bit of decay visible in just the last 24 hours. Hopefully they aren't capable of the kind of eruptions we saw last week now that they're coming in to face Earth. Quick peek up next at the Global Climate Report maps from last month. Once again, folks, here's the one they show the world. Now look at how red dominant it is. It's a qualitative chart, but once again, as we go to the numbers quantitatively, it provides a bit different of a picture, doesn't it? Link to that is below. And also to this, magnetotactic bacteria, an excellent paper describing the construction of the internal compass inside the tiniest members of the food chain, we have seen studies in the past on how changing magnetic fields and changing radiation levels have a major impact on the movement, reproduction, chemical interactions, and survival of the bacteria, and this one details how a lot of that will actually work during the ongoing magnetic pole shift, where the peak of the event will impact everything from their diversity and proliferation to their impact on soil health, ocean dynamics, and even digestive tracts. As we've said before, nothing will be unaffected. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out the resource links below the video for more. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.